Yes, got it? Good, that's it, really. But um, I'll tell you what we do, get everyone going. You can all join hands and contact the living. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Birgitta here, and um, I'm finally sitting down with the, um, with the amazingly talented psychic medium, Ivan Lee. Hi, yeah. So now, Ivan, what's the difference between a psychic and a medium? Well, that's a very good question, because a lot of people don't know the difference. And the actual difference is, a, a psychic is someone who's, who works on senses and feelings and uh, what's going on around in you, your life, earthly life at the moment. Whereas a medium is like a um, communicator that would communicate with our loved ones that have passed to a place I like to call heaven mm -hmm. because it's better than saying the other side, isn't it? <laughs> I just prefer heaven. But it's just communicating basically with our loved ones that have passed over. So basically speaking to dead people. Basically speaking to dead people, <laughs> that's about it, yes. Now, how did you first know that you had the ability? Well, that's, it was quite late in my life. It was 2002, 2003. Okay. Uh, basically, the, the easiest way I can explain it, I just started hearing things. And I thought I was losing my mind and going mad, but then I'm- hearing things? Yes, yes, voices and, and sort of seeing, very vague images of mm -hmm. people. And uh, so I thought I'm either going to check myself into the nearest mental asylum, or, but I went to my <laughs> local spiritualist church, which yeah. was Wimbledon, mm -hmm. and they have what they call development circles, That's right. mm -hmm. where you sit and uh, develop whatever ability you've got going. Mm -hmm. So that's how it all, it's just started out the blue. Were you scared? Whether I was mad or not, yes. <laughs> not scared, a little bit concerned would be the best, best word. Because the, the great thing about working with spirit is like when they do connect with you or communicate, that there is a f elevated feeling. You don't actually feel scared. Right. It's not as if someone pops up in front of you and goes, boo, like no. the films would have you know. <laughs> now... And here at Wimbledon Church, you must have learned to give evidence because here it's all about giving evidence. Yes, yes, it is, yes. And you know, in the States, it's not so much like that. Oh, I know, because I've, I've worked in the States for a, over a few number of years, yes. Yeah. What, what are the types of evidence that you have to give when you give a reading? Well, I, I was very lucky, very fortunate, because I, I had um, two, well, three very good teachers um, who I used to, if you like, go on the road with mm -hmm. and learn my trade, as it were, mm -hmm. and uh, two, a great mentor. One was uh, Derek Robinson, Keith Charles, and Ray Robinson. Right. And uh, they always absolutely hammered into me. It's like, you've got to get evidence. Always first, you have to identify who you're communicating with. Mm -hmm. Example, if it was you and you have a father who's passed, it would be like, first of all, who they are. Mm -hmm. Like father, brother, mother. Yeah. It would be, and I, I always feel like a great, a great um, evidential piece is always, because in this world, we're all born one way. Yes. Unless you're very weird, but we're usually born one way. But we can all leave this earth in many different ways. Yes. And it's always nice to um, bring forward, I say nice, but it's always evidential to bring forward how they passed, yeah. i.e. heart attack, cancer, traffic accident, or is that automobile accident? Yeah. And suicide, it's always, because you know, there's many different ways to have passed, and also it's always nice to get their names. Yeah. Really important anniversary or birthday months, and mm -hmm. sometimes what's happening in their lives now, or what's happened in, the person's life you're talking to since their loved one would have passed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you also get smells? Sometimes, yes, you can get smells. It all depends because, um, oh, how can I... If your grandmother always smelled of TCP, yeah. then you'd probably get it. Yeah. But then, I mean, you, you, the, the, the common ones are cigar smoke, mm -hmm. cigarette smoke. Yeah, that's very true. I know, yeah. Flowers like a, like a lilies or lavender smell. Yeah, typical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you see spirit? Because you know, when you give evidence, and I, I've seen you on platform, when you give evidence, it's like this. It's so quick, and mm. it's so accurate. Well, thank you. Well, well it works um, for me because each medium and, and, and every 
person who does this work will all work in different ways. Mm -hmm. It's because I, I can only comment on how it works for me. And um, it does happen quickly because on heaven's side, it's a completely, it's, it's, there's no, no time, that there's no solids and it all happens very quick, quick, quick. And um, I just, when I do work, I just sort of go with the flow. Mm -hmm. Half the time, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm saying till after it's come out of my mouth. Right. It's almost like a conduit where you've got the water going, the, the circle where you've got the barrels, the water mm -hmm. going in, the water coming out, the water going in, the water coming out. It's just relaying the information they're giving me immediately and then the other information will come through. So is it both through clear audience? Is it through right. third eye? Is it it's um, uh, the best way I can describe it for me. Uh -huh. For the younger people, you won't know what I'm talking about, but the early Star Trek episodes, yeah. the originals with uh, William Shatner and Leonard oh, yeah. Nimoy, mm -hmm. it was when they used to beam down. Yes. You remember when they used to beam yes. down, you used to get this sort of hazy outline. That's right. And slight, not detail, but slight um, facial thing. Yes. It's like that. That's pretty clear. It's like that. And um, also, and, and the hearing's quite, um, and I can hear them as well, because with the hearing, it's very much like the old transistor radios you used to have, where you used to have to dial them in, mm -hmm. and you always get stuck between channels, you get static. It, it's, it works a bit like that. Okay. Basically, that they're, they're, they're not digital in heaven, <laughs> so you have to work with it. And I always say, how can people miss their loved ones when they're always, you know, they're still around? <laughs> well, that's easy to answer because, I mean, I've also got loved ones that have passed, yeah. uh, my father, and uh, I miss my father, mm -hmm. e even though, because um, I never forget, um, it was two weeks after he passed, and I used to live just around the corner from my dad's, and I remember watching a, a football match, soccer match, the night before, <laughs> it's really football, but the soccer match the night before, and uh, yeah, I thought... Let's not forget you're a Chelsea fan, right? Yes, I am a Chelsea season ticket holder. Yeah. And, um, and as I left to go to work in the morning, I thought, oh, I just want to pop in and see Dad and, and talk about the game, forgetting he had passed two weeks ago. Right. So you miss that physical element of them. Yeah. You miss that actually being there all the time and, and the earthly life, if you like, of them. But then in saying that, that same, it was the same night as well. I, I was doing a demonstration in Reading, Reading Spiritualist Church, and I was, because of traffic, I was running very late. And I got there just in time before the service started. And as I walked in, I could see my dad on the platform doing this with his watch. So, <laughs> yes, you do miss them, you can. Yeah, but yet they're still, they'll, they'll always be around. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Now, how do you, um, I, and I know you link in, um, you can link in, but not every, I mean, everybody has that ability, but some leave it dormant. But how do you advise people connect to their loved ones? Well, it, it's very, I mean, everyone, we're all built the same. Of course. We're all like, um, I mean, nowadays, all computers are, are computers. Yes. But a lot of different computers have got different, I don't understand the technology of it. I don't know if it's gigabytes and, this, and it, it, your phone's got different apps than other phones. Yes. And, but we all got the ability mm -hmm. to connect some way or another yeah. with, with the, the spiritual side. In saying that, because if you look at the other side of the coin, we've all got the ability to, to paint yes, a picture, mm -hmm. but we're not all gonna be a Rembrandt or a Van Gogh, no. but we could all go to art school to learn how to paint that little bit better. Correct. It's the same thing. It's, it's, someone once said, oh, I forget her name. I was at a church once. It was Sutton Church. And it was like, everyone can do, but few are chosen. Something like that, Yeah, no, she I, said. I, yeah. It was them sort of words, yes. Mm -hmm. I just remembered that. <laughs> have known Colin Fry. Yes, and yes, he yes. He was a celebrity mm -hmm. psychic medium. Yes, he was, right? yes, yeah. yes. I don't know, I have to laugh because I know knew Colin Fry. And um, yeah, I'd also worked with Colin Fry mm -hmm. a few times, but um, if, if you sort of knew him personally, that the word celebrity would, would make him laugh. So I know, I know, it just makes <laughs> me smile. But yes, yes, I worked with Colin Fry. Very, very nice man, very nice man. Also very gifted. Yes, oh yes, he, he, he'd been doing it for a number. What people don't realise, because when 
he was on the telly with the Sixth Sense. I cannot. I think it started the late nineties, mm -hmm. uh, early two thousands, and uh, he, he'd been doing it for years, right. from a teenager, because because he was from. Funny enough, he was from the Crawley area, and uh, he used to work like in Brighton, mm -hmm. in the South Coast, and he was doing it for years before he was actually. I don't know, got a break and, and got this TV show. The Sixth Sense, it was, yes. Sixth Sense, mm. okay. And he passed in 2015, didn't he? Yes, he did, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you feel life on the other side? Do you have any inkling? No. <laughs> No's the word for that. Um, well, allegedly, I mean, all, all, we, all mediums do is, is hopefully communicate with their loved ones. I mean, but what life is like on the other... <laughs> have you ever asked? My understanding, it's the best way of putting it, is like it's very much like the earth we got here mm -hmm. without all the rubbish <laughs> that comes with it. Like the, I don't know, because we're always chasing the dollar to pay for the bills and Correct. you've got relationship problems, you've got work, it, it, all sorts of things goes on. But it's meant to be very much like how it is on this earth, but without all the rubbish. Yeah, and everything is energy. Yeah, well... It's here too. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> do you also give workshops? Yes, I, I, when I do get the time, because I'm actually very busy and I do, um, I do a lot of touring and a lot of churches. Um, when I do get the time to do workshops, I do do them. I, I usually like to stick to the communication workshop mm -hmm. rather than the psychic workshops, because I, I feel that with communication, it, it's much more evidential. and. Uh, other sorts, of, I mean, there's past life regression I've done, all yeah. sorts of different things. There's many, um, but they all fit under the same umbrella, as it were. Yeah. And do you tour all over the world? I d d <laughs> America. Um, the place in America I've been to and worked is uh, Sacramento, Minneapolis, San Francisco, Las Vegas, mm -hmm. Turlock. Where's that? in between Sacramento and San Francisco. Okay. It's in the middle of the two. Um, I'm going out again this year. I've also been to Spain. Okay. Well, there's, a, there's a lot of expats, which are ex-British that live out there. Whereabouts in Spain? That's Alicante okay. in Spain. Um, I'm doing another week out there next year. And uh, obviously England, mm -hmm. Scotland, Ireland. Anywhere else? No, Keep nowhere else. No? Not really. <laughs> No, I, where, busy, where, yeah, wherever it goes, yes. It's always fitting things in. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how do you get ready for platform or for readings? Right. Well, there's a lot of books and there's a lot of stuff written about that with people who would say, right, you need to do this. There's no set formula because we're all individuals. Of course. I mean, I never forget when I first started. I mean, because if, if you sort of learn to read development books, learn to read. I mean, if you start to read development books, you, you'll, you'll find that, for a start, they all start contradicting each other. Mm -hmm. But they always, there's one common thread that goes through it, say, oh, you have to meditate. I've never meditated. I can't, my brain works too, I've got too much going on and um, I can't. So for me, what helps me is like, example, I was on the way here tonight, I'm working. I just put loud rock music on. It's really whatever gets you in that frame of mind. Mm -hmm. But then I do have a quiet prayer and, um, Oh, not even 30 seconds before mm -hmm. I come on, just to connect in with um, the loved ones from heaven or just to connect, because when you do connect in, you do feel this strange, it's very hard to explain, it's different for everybody. Yeah. It's very, this connection. You, you do feel as though you're not quite here or there. Right. It sounds like a bit of a trip, but it's not. It's like, it's, very, it's a very subtle difference. Mm -hmm. And you, you, that, that's when you know, I'm ready to go now. Okay. Cause there are, but there are some people who work, who, who get their communicators or get some of the information before they go on. Right. I've never ever had that. It's always, there is there's nothing, no one communicating me until I get on a stage or a platform and I first open my mouth. And that's when my communicator will connect in with me. But before I come on, I know I'm sort of linked in because you have that, um, it's funny, can't explain it. Can't explain the feeling. 
But you burp too. Oh, I burp a lot before I go on. For some reason, it could have been worse, but for some reason, that just, and it, and it only happens when I do public work. It never happens when I do private or one-to-ones. Okay. It's only public work. It's almost as if like I have an, an acid attack. And what loud rock music do you listen to? Oh, I, I, all sorts, like like Guns N' Roses, okay. ACDC, proper rock. Yeah, proper rock. Not soft rubbish like Bon Jovi. Sorry, Bon Jovi fans. Yeah. Ooh, I've got a gentleman over there, I've got a dad. I've got, who's, I want to go a bit straight up. Now stop, you're shaking your head, I'm talking to you. Yeah, who's just pointed? <laughs> Me. And his dad passed, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a father figure. Did you have the chest problems? Yeah. Uh, it, what, I don't know if he's ever seen you or cancer, but was that with your dad? Because yeah. he stepped in. Right, what's your name? Katie. Who? Katie. Hi, Katie. Hi. And where's John connect as well? That's his name. That'll do, because it's like you saying John. That makes sense. Now, I might be going back a few years in. You're bringing three. How many kids you got, Kate? Two. Where's the free connect? Talk about free. Oh, I can understand free. As long as you understand. I like your daddy. He's a bit of a mickey taker, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Because he, he talks fast, doesn't he? Yes. I know I talk fast, but he talks. He's Mickey Flanagan talk. That makes sense. <laughs> because, um, yeah, double busy, probably. But it, and he's talked about with this. I'm mainly around my lung area as well. Because he keeps. Okay, I've got it. He said I had enough. Now, when he would have passed Katie, I don't know if it's like, how, is it like eight, nine years ago? No. How long ago was it? Well, 19 this year. Oh, 19. I don't mind being one digit out. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a Sally Morgan there. Wasn't it? Um, <laughs> No, I'm, I'm not changing. It's not about eight, nine years ago. What happened eight, nine years ago? It keeps highlighting that. How old's your youngest? Yeah, nine. I'll work on it. Doing this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got, and the other one? Yeah. How old's the other one? Twelve. Twelve, right. Because I like the two. Does that yeah. make sense? But you understand the three? Yeah. Because and John, and also, when he would have passed Kate, was you with him when he passed? Yeah. Because he keeps saying, he's lying here. He's not lying, he's staying in here. <laughs> right? Yeah, no, take a piss. He's taking a mickey. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, I like him. Right. Now, I'm being streamed, by the way. He, he swears a bit, your dad, John. Does that make sense? Because he's making reference to um, where he was, right? You must have been on, and I'm going back 19 years here, Kate. Yeah, so, no, so, uh, shut up, I'm doing a message. <laughs> <laughs> You can't shut her up, can you? No. You've got to be interesting. That's your dad saying that. Does that make sense? But it's like, he's making reference, like, you remember it like yesterday. Yeah. Does that make sense? And he's going down the right hand, his right hand, <coughs> so down, I'm not up in by my head area. Does that make sense? I'm sort of further down, more like my leg. Yeah. Okay, and he keeps grabbing my knee. Nice. But you must be touching, you know when you sit there and your arm's on his leg? Because yeah. you've got your arm, I've got it, I'm telling you. Your hand was on his leg. Yeah. Does that make sense? Right, okay. now. Was mum there at all? Yeah. Yeah, because she was one who was bothering at the top end. She kept stroking my head and bothering me. That's how John is, that makes sense. Yeah. Mum's still living, isn't she? Oh, she was half hour ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll have one day, won't we'll we? We'll have one day. No, I'm teasing, I'm teasing. Can he, he's going to say hello to mum. That makes uh, sense. And, yeah. and oh, did, I ain't got a Sue don't connect with you, does it? Sue. Susan. Yeah, that's uh, my dad's name. She's not there. No, it was on his past. Oh, yeah, my mum's friend. Susan. Susan. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, I've got it. He just went, tell mum, Susan's over here. Yeah, we were talking about her last night. Oh, that's all right. Was that about eight o'clock? Uh, um, yeah, about that, yeah. About half eight? Yeah. Yeah, because he said between eight and nine. Yeah. So he, said, <laughs> well, he was there anyway. Oh, right. That, right. Who's that next to you? That's my friend. Hello, friend. You're all right. Yeah. You don't connect with the jaw, which do you use past? Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. Where's an uncle? I'm sorry, I'm going to get someone who's close to me. I don't know if it's your George, but I'll, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, because the other gentleman, you don't have a jewels, do you, Kate? No. No, because I want to come down here. Does somebody have kept the jewels that's passed? Sure, I will find you. No, I'll find out, sort this out. Okay. Stop, what's your name? Charlotte. Charlotte, that's no, not do you, Charlotte. <laughs> stop, stop, because you might just want to go up this way, George. 
you lot think about it over there. I don't mind where, I've got chest problems with George, and it's like I can't get the breathing right. So I don't know if it's like an lung condition as well, or heart problems with angina, but I'm around this area. Is anyone over here with the jaws and their symptoms? Hello, darling, you're right, you're at the back. What's your Hello, name? Mandy. Hello, Mandy, you're all right? Yeah, fine. I'll mark with you in a minute. Are you all connected, you three? Yeah. Right, because is there four of you, though? No. 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 No, I'm not that <laughs> <Stop. laughs> Let me finish over here and I'll sort George out, all right? Now. Your dad just wants to send his love, say hello to, to okay, I've got it, got it, to your mum. She's all right. Have you still got a partner in a minute, Katie? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't say that. Because your dad would want to get involved, wouldn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Right, you know your fella at the minute? Yeah. Have you been, a, has there been a bit of um, up, ups and downs, baby? Yeah, no, my heart. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, <laughs> you gave that information up because your dad said, tell us he's bloody fed up. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's up to you, you do what you like. Is he a Chelsea boy? No. Get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> is he a Double get rid of him. I'm joking, you're, your dad don't tell you what, but it's up to you. I like your dad, it's up to whatever you want. Does that make sense? Right, so that's your dad, John, says hello, and then I'm Sue's all right, which is, I know you talk about, sorry, you saw that Sue last night. So now what's next for you? Next, what I'm going to do tonight at Wimbledon. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got, um, I mean, this, this year's fully booked. Yeah. It's like, um, and I've got America, Minneapolis and um, Sacramento and San this Francisco year? this year again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and it's a huge, usually average two to three demonstrations a week, some in spiritual churches, some in theatres, some in halls, and uh, getting fairly booked for next year. It just it just perpetuate and there's new places coming up. Like I've got another new venue for next year in the states. Where? Not sure yet, okay. but it might be New York. Oh, that'd be nice. Which would be nice, mm -hmm. but uh, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, it it just it continues growing. It's great. And when you deliver messages to people, um, you know, how does that make you feel? To be honest. It's such a blur on the night, and I really don't remember. After I've done a demonstration, mm -hmm. the inf I never retain the information. No. The information's gone. I know. It's gone. But I, I do feel very, personally, I, f I feel I'm buzzing. I'm uplifted. Yeah. And, and it's like I have to go home and sort of calm down for 20 minutes before I can relax. And what about one-to-one -one readings? It's the same, really. It's like, because, I mean, I do one-to-one -one readings mostly every day. And um, what you know, five, six, seven a day, and it's it's the same. It, it must same. be fulfilling. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it's. Um, I try not to think of it too much because because when you think of it too much, because we've got to live our lives. Of course. Going into that question, aren't I? <laughs> you are getting into that question <laughs> yeah. about life. Because we all got to live our lives, and it, and it's like uh, that's why I mean, because some people would view the work I do as a gift. I don't like that word. I prefer the word ability. Okay. It's just a personal thing of me, okay. for me. And it's like, um, and they, they would think, that it's not your life to live. You have to look at it as, it sounds cold, it's not cold, you have to look at it as like, that's work. Mm -hmm. It's like, I mean, it might not be your typical nine to five job, mm -hmm. but it's work. Yeah. And there was always this big debate about you know, oh, if you've got this ability, why are you charging people to bring loved ones forward, etc.? Well, for a, an energy exchange, yeah, it's well, normal. For a start, we don't bring them forward. It's up to them whether they come forward or not. We have no control over it. There is a, there is a saying over here that we're not disc jockeys. We can't do requests. <laughs> it's if they turn up, they turn up. And, and plus, the other thing is, I mean, we all on this earth plane, we all have to pay bills. We do. I mean, doctors get paid. Yeah. They're saving lives. Priests, vicars get a wage. Yeah. Everyone gets a wage just to live, basically. Yeah. But then, but in getting back to that, it's like, no, because I've got my life, I've got my kids, my grandkids. Yeah. I've got my Chelsea season ticket I go to. Yeah, yeah. I go to racing occasionally. So, yeah, you've got to live your life as well. Yeah, and then we get into the question how do you view life? How do I view life? <coughs> Excuse me. Well, it, it's, it's, there's enough misery in the world mm -hmm. that we should just enjoy it. And without harming anyone uh, or, or, or 
being too greedy or selfish, but it's like we should just enjoy our lives mm -hmm. and be, be as pleasant as we can. Because well. there is a saying, you know, if you understand yourselves better, then you'll understand others and treat them as they should be treated. Yeah. And I, you know, I mean, people go through suffering. Um, and I always say to them, you know, never become a victim of your circumstances. Oh, you no. Keep it, going. Yeah. And ask spirit mm. for help because they are there to help you. Yeah, there is. Um, I mean, there, there always will be, because there's three things that are definite that will happen in anyone's life. There are three things. One, you will be born. Yes. The other, you will pass. Yes. And the third thing that will always happen in everyone's life is change. Yes. Whether it's job change, relationship change, family's passing. Exactly. It's all change. Mm -hmm. And it's just something we have to, I always like to think of it as like you go with the flow. That's it. You just go with the flow. And try and be as nice as you can, really. Yeah, try and be as nice as you can. To as yourself. As you tread on, yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm. um, one last thing. I mean, people can contact you um, via your website. Yes, it's via the website, which is um, ivanleemedium.com. All the information's on there. And do you do any Skype readings? I don't, actually. That's something I, pre I, much pre I have done Skype before, and I've done phone readings before, mm. but I much prefer to do it on a one-to-one -one basis. But it's probably something we could look in I could look into. You should, huh? Yeah. Get with the times. Oh, I'm a dinosaur. We don't get with the times. My grandkids have to show me how to use my iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Well, thank you so much for That's taking right. the time. That's all right. Absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.